Hello and welcome to me going for a bit of a gabble blab whatever. Gabble blab, there's a new word. Um, I was thinking Beatles things because of the Paul McCartney one and I'm there thinking I, I Beatles covers. I've never really been a fan of, of uh, cover versions of Beatles songs. Beatles covers, the Beatles. But there are a couple that I really do quite like. So this is obviously going to be a short video, this is about two of them. Um, and the first one would have to be Eleanor Rigby by the Zoo. Now this is an Australian artist or Australian act. And this I think was circa 1969. I put all the, the links, both links, <laughs> put them down there. The band Zoot, uh, yeah, can you see this was what they got famous for? They all dressed in pink and even had a song called Hey Pinky which could be to do with your pinky finger, but who knows. But anyway, they discarded the pink outfits. Apparently they burned them or something like that. They really, When they discarded their pink outfits, they really discarded them. I didn't quite know what... I'd, I'd, heard, I'd heard that there was cover, I'd heard as uh, Eleanor Rigby, and I didn't really kind of know of the zoot either, so I didn't quite know. So you... you Plop the needle on the on the record there, and the next thing you hear is this blazing prog rock type version. Of <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, uh, <clears throat> there's no strings in here, unless you count the strings on the guitars, <laughs> or if you're left hand, like one of the guitarists was." <laughs> and, and Daryl Cotton, who's the lead singer, wearing his very Roger Daltrey inspired uh, clobber doing the song and it's like now this version I do like I read or something but it could be a bit urban mythy about how Paul McCartney actually did quite like that version of the song because um, they always get asked oh do you like this version what do you think of this version or what's your favorite version and, and stuff like that which brings me to the next one and that's the John Farnham version of Help where um, he turned it into a ballad and uh, just a little tink thing ding, ding. when I was younger so much younger <laughs> John Farnham started life as Johnny Farnham which makes him sound like two different people well John Farnham probably thinks they were two different people because he started off with his ooh I've always loved how this groovy cover looked <laughs> very 1968 with all the fish eyed lens action happening there but anyway, he started with this novelty thing called Sadie the Cleaning Lady. Yeah, that was its title. Probably because it rhymed something. Mm, who knows? From 1967. 1967 seemed to be a bit of a novelty song era. But then he went through the 70s. Oh, jeez. Uh, I hope you didn't fall over after this pic was taken. <laughs> Looks slightly risky. But then he sort of went through the 70s um, to the mid-70s as Johnny Farnham. Then he re-emerged as John Farnham. And in 1980, this was the song that brought him back. He released like a, uh, almost like a breakout LP called Uncovered. story goes that John Lennon actually did hear the, the song and said something along the lines of that's the way it should always have been done. Or a version of how it should always have been done. Once again... <laughs> You know, that could be one of those things of he said, she said. Hmm, there's a similar familiar title. And um, so I don't know, but um, it's it's literally gone from one end of the spectrum to the other, hasn't it? You've got this pro blazing prog rock here and you've got this sort of lovely tender ballad version here when in actual fact the originals were probably a little bit more the other way around where the... Version, Beatles version of Help was sort of the your typical um, sort of Beatles type song uh, uh, style and um, Eleanor Rigby being this string lad <laughs> but they're, they're really only two Beatles but there are some where like I remember like the Thompson Twins version of Revolution and oh my god that was so cringy um there are some where it's just it's it's almost like some some artists think that 
they can almost copy the style of the song and we we can have a hit or something like that but oh it's just no it was bad enough that revolution was used for a nike ad or something like that let alone being covered by some new romantic mob called thompson twins <laughs> i shouldn't be disparaging of them because i actually do like a couple of their songs but um anyway that's another quickie for you so <laughs> get these quickies out of the way <clears throat> so if you, if, you, if you like my quickies <laughs> um, but anyway <laughs> if you like my quickies I'm sure I could provide others um, but anyway if you did like this please do the likes and subscribe blah, 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 blah. and um, thank you very much for watching uh, please take care of yourself and hopefully I shall see you in the next quickie or other one or something like that anyway Thank you very much. <laughs> Ciao.